Shalom Saints, YouTube, subscribers, and anyone who just comes across my channel and happens to watch here. Uh, it's Brother Ugly, and it's uh, May 16th. I just wanted to do a quick little video. If you look at my archives or uh, on my main page, the playlists, you'll see that a couple years back I started an uh, experiment. I started growing a little organic vegetable garden inside my apartment since I live uh, in a pretty urban area in the city of Toronto. Um, and I had some success with the plants. They grew very well while they were indoors and then once I moved them out onto my balcony um, well a lot of pigeons uh, destroyed the the plants that I had so um, it kind of discouraged me for a while but uh, I realized a couple years ago even before coming to the faith when I started understanding what's happening to our food supply that people who are going to survive really need to get back to the old ways and be producers instead of consumers and learn to grow their own food. So uh, my parents were very proficient at living off the land and uh, growing up here I never had any interest growing up as a child. Uh, I always put my faith in the supermarkets to feed me and now I, <laughs> I've learned the error of my ways. So uh, I decided to make another attempt at this and after seeing a very uh, inspiring video called Back to Eden, and I'll see if I can put the link in the description below, um, I'm trying this time, I'm going to do my little garden with, as you can see here, all the wood chips on top of it to put a covering over the soil. And uh, there are many benefits to this. It uh, keeps everything moist. It gives you a nice, uh, moist, loose compost um, type of soil, which has a lot of air in it, doesn't need to be tilled. Um, it also prevents weeds from growing, it keeps pests away, and you end up with much better yields. So, um, by mimicking how nature does it, if you look in the woods, any wooded area where trees and other plants grow freely without anybody tending them, you see there's usually a covering on the ground that, that keeps the ground moist and protected and it's when we uncover the ground that it dries up gets hard and compacted and then has to be tilled and you have to add fertilizer and whatever else to uh, help your plants to grow so anyway this is my this is just one of those uh, industrial rubber storage tubs uh, that you can buy they're not very expensive the last garden, if you go check it out, you'll see that I started my seeds off in small pots and then kept transferring them to larger pots as the plants got bigger. I'm not going to mess with that this time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do more than one. I started late. I started first week of May, uh, but better late than never. And right now what I've got here, I've planted a variety of different seeds. Uh, some are... Uh, couple of different varieties, I think red kidney beans, black beans, um, some different types of peppers, jalapenos, uh, banana peppers, and I think possibly habanero peppers, and then a couple of types of heirloom tomatoes. Now, it's been just over a week, and if you look here, you'll see that I do have some plants sprouting here, and I suspect that these are my tomatoes because I think it's still a little too early for peppers although peppers will look very similar when they first sprout and I know that those aren't beans because uh, beans will tend to sprout much larger right from the actual uh, bean pot itself so yeah, these are my little tomatoes um, hopefully there, there's seeds throughout this whole bin so hopefully we'll get more growing but uh, oops this is what I got to start and I just wanted to share this quick little video to show that hey I've got some plants sprouting up here and it's a beautiful thing the uh, father he created everything and he provided everything we need to live and to survive so uh, I'm gonna keep uh, taking care of these plants and hopefully more will grow in this 
bin will be full of plants, at least as many as it can support. And as you can see, these are all wood shavings, covering, uh, potting soil underneath. So, all right, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope this encourages you to do the same thing. I live in the city in a bachelor apartment. You can do this too. Don't let where you live limit you or stop you. Everyone should learn how to grow plants because we need them to survive. Shalom, hallelujah, glory to the king.